Hey y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee. This is two. She is pregnant as heck right now, but I am going to show you how I know that. So let's hop into this video and talk about how to palpate your dough. So what you're going to do is 10 to 14 days after you breed your dough, you're going to place her on a flat surface, make sure she's calm, take your hand, and then start pressing in the area of the stomach cavity behind the back legs like so. What you're feeling for is little tiny grapes, and you're going to want to use a medium pressure to search for them. Those little grape feeling things are the embryos. With that being said, it takes a lot of practice to be able to find and feel them out. So what you can also feel for is the dissension of the uterus. A great way to practice this when you're brand new to trying to palpate doughs is to take a dough that you know is pregnant and compare it to a dough who isn't pregnant and then feel out the differences. When first learning how to do this, it's preferable to work on an animal that is calm and isn't moving around so that you have the chance to learn. With that being said, it is up to you to handle your animals in a way that allows you to easily palpate and feel for a pregnancy in them. But don't feel bad if you don't get this at the first try or even the second or third try. Palpating takes a lot of practice to perfect. But once you get good at it, you can start playing the guessing game of how many kits is this dough going to have. You can actually get so good that you can feel out each individual embryo before it's born. So go ahead, try this technique out and see if you like it or not. So yeah, in another two weeks or so, we should be seeing some more Rex babies on the farm. And two is an amazing mother. So I am really hopeful to see what she produces this time, especially since last time she gave me a beautiful solid chinchilla dough. So I just want to thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.